In the heartlands of Ireland, ecologists are turning back time, restoring the country's vast peat bogs to what they were millennia ago. Peat's an accumulation of ancient vegetation that, when dug and dried, burns for hours. For generations, the land's been drained and harvested to heat homes and fuel power stations, with more than 80% of Ireland's bogs lost in the process. But now the same state-funded company, Bord Namona, that stripped these bogs dry, is putting up wind turbines and steering this, the biggest ecological restoration project in Europe. Peatlands are incredibly efficient at pulling carbon out of the atmosphere. Square metre for square metre, they, pull, they can pull more carbon out than, of the air than a square metre of Amazonian rainforest. So when it's burned or when it oxidises, the problem is it releases so much. But when it is thriving, alive, uh, growing in the way it should be, it's incredibly efficient. In a few decades' time, this lunar landscape will be the lungs of Ireland. The scale of this project is absolutely immense. In the next few years, an area of land the size of the Maldives will be restored. Thankfully, though, the process is reasonably simple. The channels used to originally drain the peat bogs for extraction are all filled in, allowing pools of water to form on the surface and eventually all important mosses to grow that will capture carbon within 50 to 100 years. And those mosses are extremely good at their job. And that's all that has been cut for the last 140 years. But the pace of change has angered traditional turf cutters. Many employed in industrial extraction found themselves suddenly out of work. Member of Parliament Michael Fitzmaurice is defending what's seen as a historic right to continue extracting small amounts of peat for domestic use. In rural Ireland, this remains the easiest and cheapest way of heating a home. Offshore wind will be 10, 12, 15 years away because you have to go through a planning process and do all the things. To, for hydrogen, we're probably 18 to 20 years away. And we have got to make sure that while we are doing that, that it's a smooth transition, not a rough sea that we are, are facing. The EU's devised a transition fund to help rural communities meet the challenge of going green, including financial compensation for abandoning peat extraction. But it's harder to abandon a way of life unchanged for centuries. Climate change, though, demands immediate action. And Ireland's peat bogs are one of our best lines of defence. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, in Central Ireland.